This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Well, the night after Rumble is where Vince would tease the arrival of the NWO. Now, as you re may recall, he wrestled Ric Flair at the Royal Rumble for control of the company. So now, since Flair won the match, it feels like, way well, if, if I can't have my way, then I'm not going to let you kill it. I'll kill it myself. I'll inject it with poison and the big NWO reveal. There was the poison. There in hence is the, is the recipe for poison. NWO. Look it up on the metric system or whatever that, that table is. You know, like <laughs> the, bad, they get whole thing out of it. <laughs> the metric system. You mean the periodic table? Listen to you. You know what I was talking about. Yeah, I know. Hey, Lynn, it's been a long weekend for you, but I want to ask about this. The, the teasing of the NWO, uh, of course, this is to gain revenge for losing to flair, but even says in the promo in the big reveal, he's going to make a move that all the wrestlers, the fans, and he, even he himself may regret in hindsight, maybe some of that was true, huh? I regretted it. You regretted bringing back the NWO? Um. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't want to say I regret it, but I, I don't think that it was necessarily the, you know, the best thing in the whole wide world. No, you didn't need it. That's what we're talking about. Didn't need it. Didn't want it. And didn't think that, uh, didn't think it was necessary. I, I think that you could have brought Hulk in. I think you could have brought Hall and Nash in. I don't think you needed the NWO. Right. And that's actually what I wanted to talk about. And, and Lord knows we've talked about the NWO relaunch here in the archives over at something to .com. So if you want more on the NWO buddy, there's more than you can check stick out there, uh, but it's a little out of character for Vince to lean into someone else's creation. I mean, he, he wasn't thrilled about using the idea of war games and we know decades later, it would be a part of NXT, but still, you know, it feels like we're. We're not going to push the four horsemen idea and we're not going to do this. And we're not going to do that. The NWO got a pass though, because it was man, such a revolutionary. I mean, it was the match that ignited the business in the Monday night war. Did Vince have any sort of hesitation? I mean, don't get me wrong. He owns the doggone thing, but it still feels like sometimes there's hesitation to, I don't know, sink your teeth into something that you didn't create. Did he have it with the NWO? Any sort of second guessing? I don't know. No, I think kind of to the contrary, which was more of a look, you know, what WCW, it was, it was the NWO that really came in and it was, it was that creation that really changed so much in the industry. So looking at it, it's like, all right, well, it wasn't WCW, it sure as hell wasn't ECW and we own everything. So Let's go with the one that actually did put a dent in things. Uh, however, man, I, I just think that it was, it was over. It was done. You know, it, it, it came in big. The NWO did WCW, but it, it also fizzled out strong. I don't know that there were warm, uh, feelings by the audience going, oh my God, boy, I, I really miss the, uh, NWO Wolfpack and I, I want to see, uh, Virgil or Vincent or whatever the hell his name was at the time and, and things like that. I don't think there was, I don't think there was a desire for that. I do think that there was a desire for Hulk. I do think <clears throat> that there was a desire for diesel. I do think there was a desire for razor, but I just didn't, I, 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 oh, I, I, I wasn't a fan. man. You really thought in O2 that razor Ramon would work better than Scott Hall for the WWE audience. Absolutely. Well, I absolutely, but you think the diesel character worked better than Kevin Nash? Yeah. E even when they were those characters and the business was way down, it still was something, is it just because you had that pride of ownership because you were on, are you too close to that? Because I don't think anyone listening would agree with that. Well, I think that anyone that was a, Pure WWE fan definitely would agree with that. But they, but those pure WWE fans were a teeny tiny fraction of people who were actually watching. I disagree. How many no, people? Because at that point, the only people that were watching were WWE fans. I get it. But buddy, they didn't know what the hell a diesel was because less than a million people or, or 1.5 or whatever, a tiny fraction of the audience 
was hanging with you. I'm a new generation. Your numbers from people out in Northern California, so that I can't be trusted. I got you. So business was a booming when y'all were running high school gyms in '94 and '95. I stayed damn right. I got it. I understand that water cool. When everybody got a pay cut, it was because business was going well. I understand. I didn't get no pay cut in 2002. Oh, I know you didn't, but you did when there was a razor and a diesel. Well, that's on them. <laughs> All right. We're just going to be circular today. Let me ask though, walking into TV the day after the rumble, did you know it was going to be rock Hogan, Jericho and Hunter and Austin Hall? Um, I did, uh, you know, it was look, man, that, that was a, a, let me, let me put you, oh fuck, this is going to be hard to do, but let me, let me put you in, in, take you back in time in my life at that time, in, okay. in my life at that time, my wife had been diagnosed with a mixed follicular lymphoma. We had moved to Houston and we were embarking on a, a incredible personal struggle, uh, in our life and, and, you know, fighting battles on other fronts. So to say that my head was 100% in the day to day of the business, it was not. And I was looking at the business from the viewpoint of almost a distraction. Right. So during that time, I, you know, Vince and I had spoken about it. Um, he had spoken and, and asked everybody about it, what they, what they thought about the NWO coming in. And again, to the man, I think everybody was like, ah, yeah, you know, Hulk would make a difference. Not really feeling that, uh, Kevin or Scott would make a big difference. And the feeling of all three of them coming in, it was almost like to your point of, well, it, it, it's not, it's not a WWE thing. Right. It was a WCW NWO thing. Right. But, and I just don't, I don't know that there was a lot of confidence in it. So let's talk about, um, the, the, the next thing you're going to be doing, which is putting tickets on sale for a tour of Asia. And it's going to be the first time the company has been in Japan in like eight years. And the show at the Yokohama arena sells out immediately. Now, just to give some context, Japan is a bit of a mess at the time between new Japan, all Japan and Noah. What's the name of that arena? Yokohama arena. Okay. Is that not correct? Yeah. I thought you said something else. Well, they make tires. So I got that one down at Yokohama tires and they got to be run flat. Really? Yeah. I uh, is, is Vin, how do you guys decide? I mean, this is really a testament to the WWF at the time. New Japan is down. All Japan is down. Noah is down. God damn, pal. Got a plan. Let's go to Japan. They're down, but we're hot. And motherfucker, you were right. Sells out immediately. This is where you I talk. Mean, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you had more. It sounded like you had something else to say. I was waiting for you. Okay. Um, it's just timing. It's just timing in a feel and looking at the business. It, we were at a point where it was red hot and you could pretty much go where you wanted to go. And at the same time, look, man, Japan's a tricky market. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.